This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hey everyone, welcome to Films and Fermentation. My name's Leo, I'm one of the co-hosts of Films and Fermentation, and this is a mini-pod review of Guy Ritchie's The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Warning, spoilers ahead. Gus March Phillips. I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. Hitler is not playing by the rules, so neither are we. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. Mm. The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. They're all... No! Bad. They'll need to be. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! (laughs) It's very good. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do off. (gasps) Guy Ritchie's latest film, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, is a rollicking wartime adventure that serves up a generous helping of explosive action, quirky characters, and enough witty banter to keep you entertained from start to finish. Loosely based on a true story, with heavy emphasis on the word loosely, the film chronicles a daring British black ops mission during World War II. Now, as fun as the ride is, and as much as I love Guy Ritchie, I can't help shaking the feeling as I was watching this film that he was trying a bit too much to do his imitation of Quentin Tarantino. Set against the backdrop of the Blitz and Nazi-occupied Europe, the plot kicks off with Brigadier General or Brigadier Colin Gubbins, a uh, motley crew for a top-secret sabotage mission. Their target, a Nazi supply operation on the Spanish-controlled island of Fernando Po. From the get-go, the film promises high stakes, and it delivers with a series of escapades that are as outrageous as they are entertaining. The team, led by the unflappable Gus March Phillips, played by Henry Cavill, <clears throat> includes a colorful array of characters. The suave SOE agents are Marjorie Stewart, Richard Heron, the spirited Danish naval officer Anders Lassen, the ever-resourceful Graham Hayes. Each character gets their moment to shine, often in a very over-the-top fashion. Whether it's seducing an SS, an SS commander, hijacking an Italian ship, 
who are escaping Gestapo clutches in the Canary Islands. Each character gets their moment to shine. Richie's trademark style is all over this film. Quick cuts, snappy dialogue, and a soundtrack that makes you want to bob your head even as the bombs go off. It's undeniably fun, and the action scenes are creative as they are chaotic. Watching the crew navigate through a British naval blockade and execute their daring raid under the nose of the Nazis is pure cinematic joy. However, while the film is a blast, it sometimes feels like Richie is trying way too hard to be Tarantino. The nonlinear storytelling, the hyper-stylized violence, even some of the dialogue seems like it was lifted straight out of, a tar- of the Tarantino playbook. It's not a deal-breaker, I like both directors, but it does make you wonder if Richie has lost a bit of his unique touch in favor of mimicking another director's signature style. Despite this, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare thrives on its exuberance. The historical liberties taking, taken are glaring. Uh, this is less a history lesson and more a fantastical caper inspired by real events. But who cares about historical accuracy when you're having this much fun? The film throws in enough cheeky montages at the end to detail the, fur- the further exploits of our heroes, including a nod to the author Ian Fleming, who supposedly used this operation, and especially Gus March Phillips, as the inspiration for his James Bond novels. In conclusion, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is a wild, entertaining romp that will have you laughing and cheering, along with its band of misfit heroes. Just don't go in expecting a documentary. And if you catch yourself thinking, is this a Guy Ritchie film or a Quentin Tarantino tribute? Well, trust me, you're not alone. Once again, I am Leo for Films and Fermentation. This is my mini pod review of the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Check out my previous mini pod reviews of Abigail and Late Night with the Devil. And make sure you join us on Tuesday, June 4th, when we drop the first episode of our upcoming season, season nine. The episode will be episode 152, Films That Time Forgot. Cheers, folks. Thank you for listening. This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com.